Kitchen. I'm Mindy or Melinda. Um, it's almost 8 p.m. and it's I thought I would make a dessert tonight for Chris to surprise him when he wakes up. Um, it's been one of those weeks for him between work and just if you ever had one of those weeks where it just feels like nothing goes quite right that's Chris's week this week. So I thought this is his favorite. He loves pumpkin. Pumpkin spice coffees and pumpkin pie is his favorite. And I found a recipe for a no-bake pumpkin cheesecake. And what I've done is I've just sort of altered it so that I could make him individual like little pumpkin cheesecake cups. So I thought I would share this with you because he loves it. This is like such a treat for him. The recipe calls, the original recipe called for one and a half cups of either crushed ginger snaps or graham cracker crust mix. You know, you can buy the graham cracker crumbs. Instead, what I use is almond flour and it's very finely ground. See, you can see in there, that's almond flour. And what I do to give that a little bit of flavor is I have a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon and a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I add that to it. <clears throat> then I just give that a quick stir. And then here's the unhealthy part. I mean, it's, it's basically sugar free, but it's not fat free, so it's not gonna be super healthy. So I'm gonna turn the camera down a little so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, this is five tablespoons of melted butter. And you're just going to, just like you would do for a normal cheesecake crust, uh, only, like I said, it's almond flour, which is basically just very finely ground up almonds. So, and then you just mix it together and it'll form almost like a paste. And you just keep working with it until it's all a little wet. And you really, when when it when it sits and everything, you can't tell that this isn't like a graham cracker crust. It it really the the almond flour really does a good job. Okay, that's what you're gonna look. It's gonna you're gonna have when you're done. Now what I do is I get the little cups ready before I start on the filling part, and I just use these little custard cups, and I put. You just sort of push it into the cup like this. You just gotta work with it a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't, it's not the easiest mixture to work with, but it's so worth it. And see, that's what it'll look like. get the crust part into your custard cups you're going to take two packages of cream cheese um, and they say let it soften at room temperature for a while just it's easier to work with so and I even washed my scissors before I did this so I know of course you did it's just my thing as we all know by now I'm a little repetitive by the way so just not alone. <laughs> you just now we're just going to uh, put this on the mixer, the sand mixer, and let it soften cream together these two um, takes usually about a minute minute and a half or that if it's if it's nice and room and this is what it's going to look like one of the cream cheese this is just the cream cheese at this point you just beat it until it's really soft and fluffy and now we're going to add the pumpkin puree okay this is what I use I always use the 100% pure 
Libby's pumpkin puree. It's like for making pumpkin pies, but that's what you're gonna put in with your cream cheese right now. Okay, we're creaming together the, the pumpkin pie filling and the cream cheese at this point. That's all that's in here. You just wanna let it go until there's no lumps left. And I will scrape along the edges and let it go again just to make sure it gets really well mixed. And this is what your mixture should look like at this point. Now this is just the pumpkin pie filling and the cream cheese whipped together. Next you add one cup of Splenda powder sugar, which this isn't exactly powder sugar it's supposed to be, but it's like a very fine granule. I do believe it'll work though. I mean, it's so soft and fine. Okay, and I just need to let this mix together. Okay, I have now added one teaspoon of vanilla in there, and the recipe calls for, I have um, a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. And you just put that in there, and let it mix. It smells really good. I'm just not a super big thing in a pumpkin. Okay, our next step is to use one cup of heavy whipping cream. I've got it in the bowl. I'm gonna actually have to use my hand mixer for this and you just whip it, stir it on high. It will form into like a soft, fluffy cream. Shouldn't take too long. already feel it thickening. Kind of messy. I'm tipping this so I don't splatter it everywhere. And I think it's already splattering anyway. I needed a bigger, deeper bowl, I think. But it's a little late now. I'm not stopping. Just put this in with your pumpkin and cream cheese mixture. And you're just going to fold it in with a spoon. scraping the sides so that it don't miss anything. You want it to all have some of that light fluffy cream. And, and now I'm back have. with the custard cups and the big spoon. I'm just going to It's almost like a mousse. 
it's just so light and fluffy. Like I said, I'm not crazy about pumpkin, but this is really good. has just been crazy for him this week so I think he will enjoy this and it's kind of perfect timing because it's now about 10 after 8 and these have to be refrigerated for at least four hours so they can set up nice um, and usually around midnight he'll come looking for a little snack so he will find these in the refrigerator and I just keep them on this this baking sheet. It's just easy. I slide them right into the refrigerator. I'll cover them lightly and then we'll have a taste test. If I'm still awake when he has his first taste test tonight, we'll film that. If not, we'll get him tasting one for us in the morning. Okay, here we are. And it is 10 after one in the morning. And Chris is ready for his pumpkin snack. Pumpkin. The treat. It's Look a at cheesecake. That. It smells like pumpkin. Teddy mm. says, where's mine? You can't have none of this, baby. <laughs> this is fatty. Is it good? That's really good. Get some Look thumbs up. up. Look. Yay. Oh, stop your spoon. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'll get a carrots for you. Hi, friends. I'm Sadie. And I think you should like this video. Click subscribe and the little bell too. That way you know every time my mommy and daddy upload a new video. Thanks. 